cross. Mm -hmm. You know this uh, Simon Peter? Yeah. His second epistle? Yeah. <laughs> a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Yes. Now there's the knowledge of God the Father and of Jesus our Lord. Yes. Now uh, in verse 3, <laughs> according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain yeah, unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us uh -huh, to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceeding great and pro and precious promises <laughs> that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature <laughs> having escaped ooh, the corruption <laughs> that is in the world through lust <laughs> And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren, nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. <laughs> For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall, <laughs> For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, verse 12, Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Now, um, as... Uh, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ. Yes. Simon Peter did feel a certain obligation to not be negligent. Boot! And he probably told them this over and over and over and over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, I will not be negligent mm. to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, uh, and be established in the present truth. <laughs> now, of the, well, closer to maybe 46 or 47,000 videos, yes, and we might be getting close to that 3 million email mark, yes, I have been very diligent so as to not be negligent in reminding you of the need to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> Now, these laws known as forgery, yeah, fraud, mm -hmm. conspiracy, hate crimes. <laughs> the laws that I was not negligent in reminding you of over the last three and a half years. <laughs> How many police and sheriffs are really upset that I keep reminding you of what the law says <laughs> and I keep documenting lawsuits? Yes. <laughs> now, I don't feel a disapproval from God about what I'm doing. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> a lot of people, yes, mm -hmm. they said, well, you should not go get their money. <laughs> but I thought that when you're negligent in the enforcement of the laws, right, <laughs> I had the legal right to take everything you own, yes, and have you put in prison. <laughs> now, when you think about it, yes. Peter was not negligent in always reminding the Christians at that time. And then, of course, those that have read the Bible since, 
well, for the last 1900 years. I mean, there's a Vulgate translation in Latin, but somebody has been reading the Hebrew and Aramaic <laughs> since Peter wrote this book. That's right. <laughs> and for all of them that did read it for the last 2000 years since he first wrote it, <laughs> he made sure to tell them, I will not be negligent <laughs> to put you always in remembrance of these things. So we're not be negligent. <laughs> See, from the last 1900 years, there was always somebody reading one of these. Yes. Now, it might have been 480 when they first got that Latin translation, Mr. Vulgate. But before that, somebody had to read it, and it was those that could actually read Aramaic and Hebrew. Yeah. So somebody was reading this second epistle of Paul from the time that he did write it. Yes, he did. And for some reason, you thought that I should be different than the rest of the individuals that have been reading this second epistle for the last 2,000 fucking years. 